Hello, I am Dr. Salvador Augustin from Valle Lebron University Hospital in Barcelona, Spain. This is a video abstract to accompany a paper published in the Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology Journal. The title of the manuscript is Predicting Early Mortality After Acute Variceal Hemorrhage Based on Classification and Regression Tree Analysis. We came up with the idea of this study about eight years ago when we felt that there was a need for prognostic studies in this area as first, early mortality remained rather high after an acute variceal bleeding in spite of the improvement in the management of these patients. And second, we realized that available prognostic models for early mortality in this setting were not routinely used. These models were mainly based on logistic regression or Cox analysis, and we think that these techniques suffer from methodological drawbacks that limit their potential clinical value. In order to overcome these limitations, several studies in different areas of medical research have explored the utility of other statistical techniques, such as CART analysis. The CART name CART stands for classification and regression tree, and the final product of CART analysis is a decision tree, which is a visual representation of both the hierarchy of uh, relevant variables related to a specific outcome and of the subgroups of patients which share a similar risk according to specific uh, combination of these variables. Besides, this technique is relatively easy to use with adequate uh, software for the non-statistician and card trees are relatively simple for the clinician to interpret. All that made cards an appealing alternative to the traditional logistic regression methods and that's why we decided to perform this study in which we aimed to elaborate an accurate prognostic model for early mortality after an acute variceal bleeding using a novel statistical approach based on CART analysis, having a more traditional approach based on logistic regression as a reference point. Back in 2001, we started a prospective collection of uh, all consecutive patients admitted to our center with acute esophageal variceal bleeding until the end of 2008. Then the whole sample was split into independent sets, a training set of 164 patients from which the prognostic models were fitted, and then a second test set uh, of 103 patients that were used to validate those prognostic models. All patients received the standard of care regarding the treatment of the acute bleeding and secondary prophylaxis, and the main outcome was mortality at six weeks. After six weeks, 21% of patients had experienced a bleeding and 24% of patients died. With the combined use of three variables, child peak score, creatinine and bacterial infection, CART analysis provided a simple decision tree which allowed an accurate early discrimination of three distinct uh, prognostic subgroups. A low risk group uh, with 8% mortality which included all patients with a child peak score under equal or under 7 an intermediate risk group uh, with a mortality of 17%, which included those patients with a uh, child peak score about that threshold, who did not present it with renal failure or bacterial infection. And finally, a high risk group uh, with mortalities that range between 50 and 73%, uh, which included those patients with worse than function who presented either renal failure or infection. Both logistic regression and CART models uh, showed an excellent prognostic accuracy with areas under the receiving operating characteristic curves significantly better than those of child and male scores alone. And finally, we were able to validate the models uh, showing that their accuracy was reproduced in the test set. So what's new or relevant about the study? Uh, first and more generally, the original approach based on CART analysis of our paper may serve to promote the use of this powerful statistical tool which has the advantage of being easy to use and interpret for the non-statistician. And second, and more specifically, the prognostic model that we propose highlights a relevant role of renal function on the outcome after an acute variceal bleeding. The potential benefit of the specific therapies aim to preserve or improve renal function after an acute variceal bleeding has not been explored yet and we hope that this study will stimulate the design of controlled trials addressing this issue. Thank you very much for your interest in our work.